Welcome to round three of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of May 16th. I'm Terry Morrow, and I'm here with Nicole Eredix. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. We're moms of teens and young adults, and when it comes to parenting, we've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. But we're still waiting for that day when we'll reach the finish line and have no further need to lay down in a dark room with a wet rag over our eyes, worrying about something or other. Wednesday is complete day here on Parenting Roundabout, and today we are complaining about senior skip day and similar traditions. Or are we? Uh, Catherine, this uh, day has come up for your son? Yes. Well, he's not a senior, but apparently it is senior skip day Mm. for um, the seniors. And um, it just got me thinking about like, you know, this is just a day when all the, all the seniors agree not to go to school. (laughs) Um, And I'm, it just got me thinking about like those kind of traditions. And like, I think I'm pretty sure I did that when I was that age, but you know, like at my son's school, I think they've tried to preempt it by having like Mm -hmm. a special senior Uh. trip where they all go to just like an amusement (laughs) park for the day. Mm -hmm. So, and as it is, the seniors, you know, don't have to go to school for like the last two weeks of the year that Uh the other kids do. So as a parent of a not senior, I'm like, it's fine. You, you have plenty of other, you know, you don't need to take yet another day off. (laughs) Aren't you good? You have all this other stuff going on. Take some of the edge off your rebellion when you have all these other days. Right. Exactly. (laughs) And when it's, you know, it's at the very end of the year, like it's pretty meaning, like going to school at this point is, is fairly meaningless for them already. Mm -hmm. Um, So on you know when you look at it that way it's like well I guess no one should care if they if they skip but right anyway I mean huh. did you do this did your kids do this or were there similar you know sort of traditions and events that huh. I should know about and complain about <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't remember if I did that on the one hand I wanted to do all the things so I probably would have on the other hand I loved school and I wanted to be there so I might not have I don't remember, and I don't remember my kids did because they were not ones who would do it. Mm -hmm. So Hmm. I remember things from my high school, like 50s dress up day. Did you guys have like dress up day? Yeah, like spirit week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had this in the 70s and 50s was, oh, so retro. Yes. um, I had my little skirt for my mom and my bobby socks. We would put them on. But I don't remember if there was a skip day. I'm sure. I'm sure there were people who skipped, whether it was an official, right. official <laughs> event or not. I could imagine just who would. But uh, hmm. hmm, I don't think there's any harm in it. I think that by making it a big deal, you make it worse. So you might as well just let them. Right. But um, yeah, doesn't bother me. Hmm. Yeah, it did, it came up because my son's choir has a big concert oh. this this weekend and apparently if the kids if they skip and they don't have an excused absence then they can't do the concert oh dear that's like, so advised yeah and you know could they really what if they all you know there's like 25 <laughs> of them can they mm-hmm. can they really prevent all of them from being yeah. in the concert? that seems like mm-hmm. a big overreaction yeah unless i mean if they're mm-hmm. if they're missing a practice i guess no, but seems like you could easily work around that. Right. Yeah. No, it mm. this this would be because the rule is if you don't go to school, then you can't do your extracurricular. Mm. You know, like if you're if you have an unexcused absence, or if yeah. you're sick or whatever. You know, if you don't if you don't go in, then you can't do whatever it is was scheduled for that day. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Well, I see that rule, but. I don't know. Maybe the kids who are in the choir are the kids like me who didn't want to not go to school. (laughs) It's one of those terrible people who liked high school. (laughs) How about you, Nicole? Did your kids do this kind of stuff? And was it a thing in Uh, Canada? No, (laughs) it was not a thing. We just skipped when we wanted to. (laughs) You didn't need an official date. Make it into a coordinated. There was was no big, like, (laughs) like, 
people, I, I'm sure maybe it's different now, but in my day, if you had suggested senior skip day, people would have been like, what? <laughs> why don't you just skip? Like, why do we need a day? Right. <laughs> um, Every day is senior but, skip day. Right. But for both of my kids, they, went to the, they both went to the same high school. And so it is a tradition. However, you know, in the days leading up to it, there's always these rumors of like, yeah, if you you know, miss, you skip, and you don't have an excused absence, then, you know, you're going to not be able to participate in, you know, some activity, or you'll lose marks, or like, there's always like these, you know, at least 50 different hovering threats (laughs) (laughs) about what would happen if you skipped class. And then, and then we had with my daughter, one AP teacher who scheduled uh, an exam, on that day (sighs) nice yeah nice right so and both of my kids were in they did take some AP courses so they were kind of in that groove of you know they hung around with kids that were very studious now I'm sure they would have loved to have skipped but I think because of the influence of their peers who were um you know, dedicated the good influence to school. of their peers. <laughs> <laughs> in 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 an opposite turn of events, they right. were positively influenced by their peers. <laughs> <laughs> and they did not skip that I know of. At least I didn't hear from the school. So and right. they might have skipped other days. I'm sure actually they did, <laughs> but um, not that day. So yeah. So yeah, so there was it was a very it was like so they did try to preempt it by kind of you know, suggesting that there would be serious repercussions. Right. Uh, so, of course, all of the the kids in the higher level academic classes were terrified. Right. And yeah. Um, yeah. So never mind that they're knows? all already accepted to college. And I know. Have to, right. Like, really fail <laughs> in order to. Um, I know. You know, be denied well, their place. Right. Or so. post something real bad on social media. <laughs> yes. That's how you get uninvited. Or beat somebody's yeah. car with a baseball bat and get into a fist fight on the lawn. That's right. We saw oh, the that's after party poor, recently. Poor Anique in the after party. That would lose you your Stanford scholarship for sure. Yeah. So watch out, kids. Yeah. Starts with taking the day off. <laughs> you don't know how many directions it's going to go. Next thing you know, it's- you're... Being it's someone's the gateway. car with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. I don't know. No. I think that there's a sweet spot between forbidding it and making it a formal school event. Right. Right. That you can just say, you know what? Wink, wink. We know you're going to do this. And wink, wink. We won't schedule anything important that day. Right. Mm-hmm. So makes it a little less dangerous, which is your revenge on the kids. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Oh, you're not going to come to school today? Oh, no. We had <laughs> well, no idea. You. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the sweet spot. That's what you want to find where it's like everybody knows and nobody right. cares. Right. And then right. The, the real rebels will ditch on a different day. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have that progressive of a community. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're hugely. Um, traditional. I know. Yeah, I think is with as with parenting, uh, y- you can push things too far. You know, right. you want to leave a little wiggle room. Yeah, right. Um, and uh, when schools don't do that, maybe mm, they need yeah. some counseling. Maybe parents can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's really sad. If they just start, they need to have really difficult parent skip day. Yes, yes, yes please. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey, but this is my ditch day. Uh, right. you ask me tomorrow. I am not available. Yeah. <laughs> please take over. I'm going to go lie down. Yes, in a dark room. I'm taking a field With trip my... to Starbucks. Um, you know, we'll we'll do that tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And listen to this. If I podcast. say I'm going to Starbucks, though, then it's oh, I want this, I want that. <laughs> you know, oh dear, I have to go there in secret. There you go. If I want it to be a special <laughs> treat, sneak into me. Starbucks. Mm-hmm. 
sweatshirt hoodie over your head. <laughs> Get an wow. Uber instead of your car so they can't find you. Right. Turn off your Life 360. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a whole other topic. What else I would ditch so. out on? <laughs> Parent ditch day. What would yeah. you ditch? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Put that on the list. Yes. <laughs> you know me and field trips, but we won't go there. <laughs> oh, see, that's why I was the, the working mom that still went on field trips. So everybody loves slash hated me. <laughs> Mrs. Morrow wants to come again. I guess we have to let Mrs. Morrow come because nobody else from the special ed classes would sign up for things. And I, oh, no. I'll do it. I can do it. It's fine. Yeah. I'll tell my boss. I'm free. <laughs> They're like, oh, good. <laughs> oh, he's so happy to have you. I'm sure they were. They mentioned just how much my really kids' teachers loved, me. <laughs> loved me. Well, they were waiting yeah. for my ditch day and it never came. <laughs> <laughs> Karen needs her ditch day. Need a ditch day now. Good topic. Fun to yes. think about. Now I'm thinking about all the parenting things that I would do. We definitely okay, have to come up with that. Now. That needs to be a, a topic for a future episode. That's right. But yeah. For now, take us out of this one so we can all sneeze and cough all and right. do the things we've been holding in since we've been recording this. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Well, that's it for today's round three. Tune in tomorrow when we'll obsess about parenting help everyone should be able to access. And then on Friday to see what we've come up with for our roundabout roundup picks this week. Find all our episodes of parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there on our Facebook page or on Twitter where you will find us at Roundabout Chat. 